Capricorn. <laughs> What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Capricorn for the mid month of December? Hmm. I know you're going to tell me, but why didn't we get no first half of December? Listen, 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 listen. Charge my, my mind, not my heart, baby. I had a lot of shit going on in December, y'all. I can't take it back at this point. It's done, all right? So with that said, forgive me, you all, and we're going to do better going forward because shit was really lit, all right? I had family shit to attend to and family first. Y'all know how we get down over here, period, all right? Um, also, hey, we had this first time in my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, um, this is also your first time you're on my channel. Look out, I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell the call is going to say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, okay? Because I'm going to do that, all right? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the readings, the donations, the love. Thank you so much from the most humblest space ever. Because we know this is not going to resonate with every Capricorn, please feel free to find um, the information regarding the personal reading in the description below, all right? This will be for the 15th to the 31st of December. You guys, Mary Krimu, Happy New Year. Y'all, we're going into a whole new decade. You ready? <laughs> I should be mad because I'm sick as a damn dog. This is my second time recording, you guys. And the first video didn't even fucking save because it was too long, y'all. So apparently this Chromebook says uh, no long videos. So what we did with that said, we're going to go ahead and get it popping. This will be for the Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the Sign of Capricorn. If that motherfucker shoe is too big, don't try and make it fit, Cappies, all right? Because your ass going to fall, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start with your intuitive messages, and then we're going to go ahead and jump right in, all right? So for my Capricorn, intuitively what I got for you all was choosing love, court case, financial blessings, compromise, divorce, health scares, fear of loss, control, family secrets, Guilt, mending past wounds, discovery, protection, generational cycles, gossip, confrontation, dreams, mother, realizations, triggers, infidelity, pride, acceptance, narcissist, inheritance, emotional discussions, collaborations, okay? Happies, all right. So let's go ahead and fucking talk about it. Overall energy around the reading. You guys got the ten of diamonds, okay? So some of you all, I definitely feel like this uh, as we go into the next damn decade for the end of December. A lot of you all, there will be a focus around endings, okay? Things that is coming to an end. I am hearing involuntary endings, okay? So some of you all, I'm, I'm even seeing some of you all. I'm hearing unexpected. So some of y'all, things may be ending that you did not. I feel like it's a matter of it being out of your control. And there is triggers around that space for you, Cappies. And I feel like it's a time of acknowledgement as well as not only acknowledgement, but really healing for you all. And I feel like you stay so busy and caught up in your damn finances that some of you guys choose to sweep it under a rug. And Spirit is saying, no more avoidance. It's time to heal. Okay? So let's get it. Angels, what messages do you have for my Cappies? And my Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers. Oof. For the mid month of December. Some of you all, whatever it is that you've been working on creatively, I definitely feel like there is positive news regarding contract collaborations or even the resources that's needed. There's a need for you guys to stop focusing on what the hell you don't have and choose to see areas where work where, where, where more work could be done. It's like an, instead of stress and strategize, baby. Okay. Also, there's a need for you all to keep your mood silent. Whoa. And I also make my barbieri cards and my angel messages. So if any zodiac sign falls out with significance, I will actually tell you guys. Some of you guys will actually be within your chart or the spouse, okay? All right, so angel messages do you have for my cappies for the mid month of December? What messages do you have? Okay. Cappies, you guys got moon cycles. Archangel Haniel, 
Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these new cycles, okay? For some of you all, that Gemini new moon, I'm hearing realizations, okay, as well as illuminations, okay? But it's, I feel like it's it's causing or it's actually triggering, triggering a sense of rebirth for you all. This has to do with renewals. For my Capricorn women, some of you guys may actually be experiencing um, actual like changes and shifts around the flows, around your... Femininely flows your your menstruation your menstruation okay. For some of you all, also you could be finding out that you're damn pregnant during, during this time, Capricorn woman. So be careful if that baby energy ain't what you you ain't about that life. Be careful, okay. Some of you all also spiritually, some of y'all y'all dream space may be may be extremely lucid. This also has to do with spreading your ring, wings, a sense of liberation, being liberated from a situation. Some of you all, there could also be the need to speak your truths. Some of you guys, could this, this could also be um, having to do with the family, a court case, matters around paternity. For some of you all, I'm hearing inheritance assets. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who's very manipulative, someone's emotionally manipulative. And for some of y'all, I'm hearing delusional. Okay, there could be a realizations of someone's delusional state or like mental illnesses within an individual. This could be you, another person, Capricorn, but I definitely feel conversations are going to be had, things coming to the forefront, okay? Cappy, some of you all also, there's a need for you guys not to move forward from a space of fear. Because some of you all, there's an, and also a need, there's a need for you guys to go within some and address some type of confidence issue, lack thereof. I'm also hearing, um, Triggers around abandonment when it comes to some type of um, some type of realization when it comes to generational curses regarding the father, the patriarch. Some of you guys could be having issues with your children's father, your father. This could be some type of forgiveness. Okay, let's see what message do you have for my cappies from now to the end of December. 15 to the 31st of December, okay? Yeah. Some of you all some of y'all may be receiving offer receiving an offer from an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of you guys are dealing with someone, yeah. You need to make a judgment regarding that energy. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who has a lack mindset. Okay. And some of you all someone's trying to control your movement or you trying to control another person's movement by offering some type of financial assistance. But I feel like somebody's crumbing another there somebody is crumbing you, Cappy, or trying to crumb you, baby. Okay. For others of you, there could also be some type of judgment or some type of um, some type of judgment made regarding finances. Okay, this could have to do with the family matter as well. Okay, for some of you all, this could also involve a Sagittarius. Someone making a judgment: Do I leave this situation or do I keep investing in it? Okay, because for some of you all. Some of y'all, there's some type of unexpected ending having to do with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like someone was trying to manipulate energy or control a situation. But I feel like for those of you who are dealing with someone who have been a blockage to some type of union by refusing to by, by refusing to let go, even though there has been no type of love here. I feel like someone was holding on for practical matters that could be illuminated to you during this time. OK, yeah. For some of you all, there is some type of decision regarding uh, finances, your assets, property. Some of you all, I'm also hearing air. Someone could be also, some of y'all could be finding out that you're the heir of some type of property. You could be kind of going heads up with the male figure, Capricorn towards Virgo like yourself, okay? This could also be with a father figure or around a father figure. Some of y'all, again, there's a, a lot of focus on the father figure, the divine masculine aspect. Some of you guys could be uh, wanting to make a solid offer or there's some type of the, the advice here is to make some type of solid offer regarding the tourist, the commitment, okay, or some type of splitting up of assets in order for both people to be happy. Someone, some of y'all is dealing with a very vengeful energy. It's like there's no love in the situation, but someone doesn't want the other person to move on and be happy. Some of y'all could be dealing with someone who's extremely intuitive as well. Someone knows the fate of the other person, but someone wants to hold on for dear life to kind of like be a blockage or kind of... Um, like kind of cause someone not to see a situation, okay? Or some of you may be avoiding uh, wanting to see a situation possibly involving a third party with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? With someone from their past, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you. Someone, okay, I'm also hearing um, 
chaos, chaos, chaos. So some of y'all, if you're dealing with a water sign from your past that you have children with, somebody could have also been paying somebody to shut the hell up because they are uh, in some type of, um, somebody, yeah, someone could have children outside of their marriage with someone and someone doesn't want to take it to the courts because someone's going to be exposed. Someone's afraid of them, their marriage being over. But I feel like spirit, this is like divine intervention because, and it's also someone's karma with how they move and how they treated another person. This could also be involved in a Scorpio. Yeah. There are cycles ending around money, secrets around um, paternity with children as well. This could be involving an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Taurus. Okay. Yeah. But I definitely feel the outcome is a new beginning in love for some of you all. Once you choose to get out of this space of, uh, out of this space of really just trying to make every damn thing work. There's a need for you all to surrender because some of you all, you're surrendering because spirit is really sending you a blessing. But in order to achieve that damn blessing, you have to let some shit go, okay? Some of you all could have also been doing some type of spill work to manifest the truth in a situation or also some type of road opener to move things forward in a situation. This could have to do with what you've been investing in. Some of y'all are healing the situation because someone's finding out they're pregnant. Congratulations, Mocha Little Keys, baby. Yeah. Some of you all, there is an easy, yeah, some of y'all, there's some type of new start or some type of compromise. Also, an apology coming towards you or this uh, emperor. You just got to do with an Aries, okay? Capricorn, you could have had to make a decision regarding if you want to balance out a situation with an Aries. Someone's having some type of realization that someone is a past life soulmate. Someone has loved this person before in many lives, okay? Someone, someone's needing to have the courage to step up and tell another person how they feel. But there's a fear around someone rejecting the offer. Somebody wants marriage and commitment if you're already in a relationship. And I feel like the, your person was um, emotionally closed off during this mid-half of December. This person is wanting to open up. They kind of want to equally give to the situation. Someone's having a realization that, listen, Cappy has, Cappy has done a whole lot. Cappy has done everything that Cappy can do to try to make this work. Some of y'all, this is involving a Leo. If someone was hiding some type of information regarding a child or truth around a child, that is going to be coming out, Capricorn. And I feel like it's coming out to bring some type of balance and harmony in the situation because I feel like someone's intent in a situation is to destroy something. But they're destroying it in the weirdest way in the name of love because someone really loves you. And they feel as if they have to be kept a secret while you be used in a situation with the toxic person. Can be involved in a Virgo, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is about do I choose happiness or do I choose to keep investing in this bullshit? Do I choose to mend the family situation by expressing some type of truth and clarity? Some of you all are dealing with the high priestess or you are a high priestess. Someone already knows the secret. <laughs> this could also have to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone is... Um, I feel like someone could also be avoiding some type of disaster, avoiding some type of um, chaotic ending. But I'm hearing that it's not going to turn out the way that you expect. It's actually going to be compromised. There's going to be the situation is going to be compromising or someone's willing to compromise and move things forward, impact fairly with you. Someone's willing to put in the work. Some of you guys have to do with the Sagittarius being indecisive on if you're going to um reconcile with the Sagittarius or a Pisces person, all right? But I definitely feel like a decision is going to be made and the decision is going to, yeah, this, this, the decision that you make, if should you choose not to move from a space of uh, fear and the unknown, yeah, somebody, somebody to choose, somebody's choosing to move away from a manipulative person. If someone was trying to manipulate a situation, I definitely feel like there's a loss of power of some sense that is setting you or another person up for a new beginning. Something beautiful, something solid, something that is something that is material, I feel. OK, some of you all are also could be there could be talks of engagement. I'm sorry. Take it back like you ain't here. All right. But I definitely feel like someone is planning to uh, make some type of engagement. Some of y'all been feeling as if your partner doing some sneaky is because this person is trying to plan some type of engagement for you. Someone wants to do something in front of a lot of people. <laughs> Spirit, what's the uh, what's the angel message? What's the, what's the advice for Cappies? Yeah, clairvoyance. Things being aligned for you guys. Listen to your heart. Connect to your space. Don't look outside of yourself. People lie. Spirit don't lie, okay? Archangel Raziel. 
I'm helping you. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. I feel like a disaster has to happen or someone again is doing some chaotic shit in the name of love, Cappy, because they really want to bring this together. This is you going, you another person, but I definitely feel like it. Yeah, there's an alignment happening. Spirit is saying surrender the aspect or the need to control certain situations and liberate yourself from fears and worries of what could go wrong. Okay. What could go right? Think about it. All right. So I love you all. This is what I have for you guys mid month. Let me know if this is resonating. Okay. Cause I definitely feel fast moving energy. A lot of you all are running away from some damn body in this shit from fire signs and shit. I ain't worried about the damn financial lack thereof. I know that my love is going to manifest everything I need and boom, damn, then boom. Okay. Karmic justice. All right. So you guys, I love you all. Take that leap of faith. Jump off these damn cliffs. Happy because I definitely feel like you're jumping right into the arms of a blessing. All right. For some of y'all right into the arms of a damn Aries person. Anywho, love you vibes. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, guys. New, happy New Year, guys. And you guys have a beautiful rest of December. Bye, babies.